sat down with Israel's prime minister, president, and fellow foreign secretary. Each time, Antony Blinken made the same plea for de-escalation. We're urging uh, all sides uh, now to take urgent steps to restore calm, to de-escalate. Um, we want to make sure that there's an environment in which uh, we can, I hope, at some point create the conditions where we can start to restore a sense of security for Israelis and Palestinians alike, which, of course, is sorely lacking. The long-planned visit from the U.S. Secretary of State comes in the middle of a surge in violence. Last week, the Israeli military carried out its deadliest West Bank raid in two decades, killing 10 Palestinians in Jenin. The next day, a Palestinian killed seven people at a synagogue in East Jerusalem. Benjamin Netanyahu's government, the most right-wing in Israel's history, has moved to punish the families of those deemed terrorists by demolishing their homes. In his meeting with Blinken, Netanyahu argued that expanding the Abraham Accords between Israel and Arab nations would help lead to peace. Expanding the circle of peace, working to close, finally, the file of the Arab-Israeli conflict, I think would also help us achieve a workable solution with our Palestinian neighbors. Blinken will be repeating his calls for calm as he meets with Palestinian Authority President Mahmoud Abbas. He's also expected to urge him to resume security coordination with Israel, which Abbas cut off after last week's raid.